Jamal Myers here for seconds out at the Joe Joyce versus Joseph Parker fight week. Finally got it over the line, Dave. Um, I mean, what a story it's been to even to even get here. Just talk to me about what what it's been like. How surreal is it to even be here? Boxing can get very political. Um, we we're delighted that the deal finally got done and the big fight is happening. And you know, WBO number one versus number two. Very interesting matchup. The fans, it'll be good for the fans. Um, the discussion started nearly a year ago, and it was on again, off again. The deal terms are shifting along the way, and so it, it certainly wasn't an easy fight to put together. I mean, the rematch clause is a thing that stands out that Joseph keeps talking about. That it doesn't necessarily make sense considering Joe isn't a, a champion. What what do you make of this? Do you think that that's a mentality thing that Joseph can? that pick on from, from Joe's perspective? Yeah, there's two ways of looking at that. So first of all, before the Parker Chisora fight last year, they weren't demanding a rematch clause. So Joyce was willing to fight Parker with no rematch clause. Then they saw how Parker dominated Chisora. Then suddenly they're demanding a rematch clause. Um, they are saying they wouldn't have taken the fight without it. So we had to weigh up, do we, do we want the fight? Joseph Parker wants the big fights. He's not afraid of risk. So we opted to go into it anyway, even with the rematch clause. There is a positive side. At this level Parker's at, it's actually very, it can take a long time to put fights together. You can sit around for six or eight months. A good thing about the clause, if Parker wins, is it guarantees him another big fight and a big money fight straight away, which was actually quite valuable. It's another, you know, big payday, big opportunity, while you, you potentially wait for world title shot. And if that wasn't the case, he could end up waiting another nine months or fighting a bum for no money, you know? So it's not all bad, that rematch clause. As long as you back yourself and you're winning, it's not a problem. And there's that opportunity to put further emphasis on a victory as well, if that so happens. Um, and then just in terms of Joseph's journey and progression, like you said, veteran experience. Uh, he's been in there with Anthony Joshua on the biggest stage possible, Ch uh, Chisora twice. Is that the thing that separates them ultimately on, on the night of the fight? Yes, I think so. I think as a professional boxer, Parker is almost a veteran and he's got a lot more big fight experience deep in late rounds with big name opposition. On his resume, you've got wins against Andy Ruiz Jr., 12 rounds, Carlos Takam, 12 rounds, Chisora twice. Then you've got the Joshua fight and Dillian White. That's big fight, big stage, 12 round experience um, and you can't say that Joyce has that same level of experience and then Parker, things ebb and flow it's like cricket, batters are in form and out of form, Parker's on the up like if you look at his last couple of fights he changed trainer, he just got through Chisora, he had more time with the new trainer Andy Lee looked a damn sight better second time round has gained a lot of confidence so I think you might see the most confident sure-footed, well-rounded Joseph Parker that you've seen. I mean, it's, it's clear to see the differences in Joseph Parker's game since joining up with Andy Lee. Definitely more aggressive, more ferocious. Just from your perspective, having known Joseph for so long, what, what are the differences that you've seen in him inside the ring and outside the ring? I think he's a lot more calm and sure in the in the ring like the the clearer on the basics and less um you know hot-headed shall we say um and more present present every second of of the round which and and then his footwork so definitely um i think he much improved in the ring and outside the ring he's been welcomed into tyson fury's environment like a family member which has been lovely you know because Parker's obviously not from the UK, but this almost feels like a home fight for us. And and so I think you'll see the the most happy, calm, well prepared Joseph Parker that we've seen. I mean it's it's rare for Parker to get an opportunity like that to train with arguably the greatest heavyweight on the planet in Tyson Fury. Not a lot of heavyweights and not a lot of fighters would grant a potential opponent the opportunity to do that. I mean, how, how did that one come about and what an, an amazing opportunity as well? Yeah, there's quite an entertaining story there, but it started with a few drinks after Parker fought 
Tyson's cousin Huey Fury in Manchester or five years ago this Friday at Manchester Arena and he retained the WBO world title. The next day we invited Tyson Fury to come round to Joseph's uh, hotel room for a few drinks and that's how it kicked off. We just all got on like a house on fire and they clicked like you know they're, they're like brothers now and and that's how the relationship started and it, they kept in touch and then when uh, future UK fights came along I think when Joseph was looking at new trainers Tyson we recommended Andy and um, and that's how that Morecambe connection started I mean because at one point you know Tyson had that same thing with Huey, same same division. They didn't kind of didn't want to step on each other's um, toes, and you kind of have that same situation with Tyson and and Joseph. Even though Tyson has he's retired a few times recently, but then it looks like the the AJ fights on. Um, there's no sense of awkwardness that they they could be potentially stepping on each other's toes in that they're both pursuing the the Usyk fight at some point, right? Yeah, I, d I don't think it's a problem. I mean, I don't think they'll fight each other, but I don't think that's too much of a big deal. I mean, Tyson. The way he's talking, I think he'll have another one or two big fights, and I think he might retire, which kind of, whereas Parker probably wants to fight on till he's 34 or 35, which gives, might give Parker a clear few years run after Tyson's hung up the gloves. But then again, Tyson might come back again. You never, some people, you know, they just got to fight. So who knows what will happen? But for now, Parker's the way he sees it he's just got to beat the guy in front of him and at this stage that's Joe Joyce that's all he cares about and if an opportunity came up against a Nusik or a Joshua then it's, it's beat that person and I know you're an outsider on the situation but do you believe that the Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury fight happens in December? I don't see why it shouldn't for me it comes down to do they both want the fight if Joshua wants to fight and Fury wants to fight and they've agreed that 60-40 split there's no reason why it shouldn't happen it's, if, if it doesn't happen it means one of them doesn't want the fight or some real bad lawyers or management are getting in the way but that's the hard bit do they both want the fight have they agreed the split it sounds like they have so it should happen um, yeah what did you make of, you know, obviously there's the potential of uh, Usyk fighting Wilder as well. What did you make of Eddie Hearn's comments that Wilder wouldn't win a round, but he has the power to really hurt Usyk? Do you, is that something that you agree with? Yeah, I'd, I'd agree. I think Usyk will be all skill-wise just all over Wilder, like le levels above, polished, slick. Um, but if Wilder got really lucky and landed a sledgehammer, he could knock Usyk out. So I think I'd actually agree with Eddie Hearn on those comments. Finally, I think fans are expecting a war on Saturday night. They don't necessarily think it'll be a fight that's done early. How do you see that one going? Yeah, I think it'll be a war. Everyone talks about Joe Joyce's pressure, but Parker, as you mentioned earlier, with his new train and style, is, is aggressive and bringing pressure and and that count as well as counterpunching. So, I think um, it'll be a lot of trading. They've they both got they're both very durable. Like jo Joyce is legendary for his stamina and his chin, but Parker's got a you know he's never been out cold. He he got put down by uh, White with a headbutt, got up straight away. I think Chisora had him down straight up. So I haven't really seen him get really hurt by a punch. Um, and, and so it'll be a real dust-up, I think. Brilliant. Really appreciate your time, Dave.